Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and this is uh, again going to be really important tutorial and of course I'm going to uh, show you something you might not know uh, as a beginner or, or intermediate level uh, developer because you might not have faced these things to be uh, to use so now let's go ahead and use this relationship so now we are, I'm going to uh, show you the relationships in Laravel Eloquent so because we are going to need it so, okay so let's go ahead and uh, show what we have done before and before I show you if you have not subscribed yet if you are new my, new to my channel go ahead subscribe my channel and share the videos and of course let me know your valuable feedback so in my last video I showed you how we can create the blog and definitely I have missed out some uh, normal uh, validation I will do it all my, my myself and I will show you but now this in this video I will show you uh, Laravel relationships um, belongs to many relationships actually so uh, let me show you why we need it uh, as you can see here I have a um, uh, tag in the category all are multi selectable and I'm storing them in a pivot table and if you do not understand what is a pivot table a pivot table is that holds uh, multiple IDs from different tables so here uh, log tags is a pivot table that holds tag ID from another table from text table and then blog ID from the block table so we are storing it in a pivot table from block text similarly we have block categories as a uh, pivot table so now if I want to make uh, all blog listing page and if I want to show all the tags that I have selected just like this with the uh, tag and the categories so with, uh, with my uh, new page that I'm going to build afterward and if that page called uh, blog listing let's say I have a page called blog uh, blogs list okay now here my, I might have ID okay and I can have just title and I have to see what are the tags and what are the categories uh, I have selected so here what I want to do is I uh, ID let's say one title this is nice and for tags let's say I want to uh, see okay I have selected tags for uh, for 71 I have selected tag ID 16 14 13 so what does that mean is I have selected 16 CSS view and Laravel so what I want to do is I want to do CSS Laravel uh, let's say uh, in a comma separated view so I will let's say I want them in a comma separated view Laravel and views okay so similarly what I will uh, I want to do the same thing for the categories as well I want to list in a string um, a string uh, string uh, in a string so that I can also list the categories as well so category has been used as uh, 11 uh, 11 so what is the the categories views so let's say I want to store all these uh, categories now the question is how can I retrieve all the blog tags um, uh, all the tags name and the categories used with each blogs okay now let me show you how we can do that so uh, the way we can retrieve all the data from our uh, database uh, using a lot of electric relationships so let's go ahead and try to understand what is a lot of uh, relationship and um, what does that mean actually okay so yeah if you have if you already know uh, i think you might uh, not know the level electric relationships so let's go ahead and create some route mm. uh, let's call it blog data and let's have a method here public function blog data okay so this relationship is called there are many kind of relationship one is uh, has uh, has one if you uh, if you actually uh, study the uh, Laravel documentation you will be able to get all the relationship since I'm not uh, stitching just every uh, Laravel um, so I'm not going to cover just normal relationship uh, in a broad topics but I will be showing you every relationship that is completely required by the project so I will show you everything and explain how the how it works okay then there has has many uh, belongs to okay belongs to then we need uh, belongs to many okay so we are using this uh, uh, the advanced ones belongs to many okay so let's go ahead and check it out what so what will happen is that when I will try to retrieve the blog and uh, the query will be executed and then it will 
go ahead here and we will see okay the block id 71 has the tag id 16 14 13 so what will happen is that it will retrieve all the tags as well along with the blog so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so let's return blog and level relationship work is like with function so since we want to retrieve multiple uh, in, uh, relations like tag and category so what we can do, uh, do is some um, we can pass an array you can pass separately tag and cat like this or you can pass without an array with multiple widths but I'm using one width and then I'm passing uh, an array uh, to it okay and then I can call simply get okay so now uh, I have written tag for uh, this uh, this uh, something if you're already familiar with this thing so you might be uh, you might get irritated but please be uh, uh, be uh, a little patient with me because I have a lot of extremely newcomers who do not even know what does that mean so this um, I will try to add something which might irritate you if you already are familiar with them so for those who do not know what it is what does it mean is that blog and width so we will um, actually call the tag for uh, all the tag so let's go ahead and if you try to know more details then you can study how with function runs okay so I will try to explain later in some of uh, in some videos uh, uh, explaining how it all works together and we will also show you how the query runs so in actual real ca uh, real case scenario using a package so bear with me I will try to show you everything that's required to be a professional developer okay thank you uh, let's move on and here you see with tag so we have to define this tag and category uh, function uh, method in the block model so we have the block model here and we have to define tag here and then again we have to define uh, the category here as well okay now the question is that we need to define the relationship here so relationship has uh, some uh, convention to be followed so this and what is the rela relation name for our case here for this case so the relation is uh, called belongs to many in our case so let's go ahead and uh, write belongs to many okay so Laravel will actually try to do many uh, tries to do many things automatically uh, by default so if you can follow the convention so normally level assumes uh, your pivot tables name to be blog uh, let's say uh, um, my pivot table is blog tag so it's a wrong one it's not uh, f followed by Laravel convention so if you start if you study Laravel doc if your uh, one table name is blogs another tables name is let's say categories then Laravel assume your table name to be your table name to be uh, blog then categories blog then category okay something like this so but I since I have not uh, followed any convention so I have to pass the relationship and also Laravel assume in your blog tags you are using the singular form of their foreign key so tag so sorry um, let's say block categories okay so if your table name is categories it will assume singular table name underscore ID singular table name underscore ID so uh, category and ID so I think I followed the foreign key convention but the not the table name so I don't have to pass everything here so what I can do is I can say tag and what I need to do is I need to retrieve the tag uh, tag from the tag table okay so let's go ahead and we need to look at this table let's call this table directly so we need to pass uh, the class here tag and then we have to um, tell the Laravel which table is the pivot table so the table uh, for uh, for uh, tag the table is block tag as a pivot table so we have to pass the pivot table so let's pass the pivot table here okay and since we have followed the Laravel foreign key convention we don't have to pass the foreign keys here but in case if you have not used the foreign keys the way I used or following the Laravel convention you have to pass the foreign keys here so if you just uh, do a little bit search online you will be able to know more details on it okay it's everything is documented it's not so rocket science it's just simple things so here for the tag as well the same thing we have to pass the category here so let's go ahead and pass our category model 
uh, category model here and the pivot table for category is blog category okay so we have to pass that as well here and then um, sorry we have to pass the table name actually not the model so uh, blog text is the table name and what is our uh, table name table name is this one so we have to plus block categories as the table okay so now guys if I retrieve this one I should get um, the uh, data along with the uh, along with uh, the or each of this block so I'm returning all the blocks and I should get all the data as well so uh, okay so let me see I don't have this controller as well so let me re uh, okay so here we go I have a one block which is 71 is the ID and I have tag uh, my three tags okay 16 14 and 13 you can see i go the tag okay tag name is css and i just got the uh, pivot table information as well so you can see i got the tag level and view and now i can easily i will be able to easily show all the tags uh, along with my blocks and i have one category for that block so i just list one so let's create one more record in our system and let's duplicate it and and let's make it 72 as the ID and then we have to change our slug here because it's expect to be uh, unique okay 72 and for block tags let's add uh, let's duplicate a one row one more row one more row here and just for in case for 71 we will use 72 and for block categories let's use actually two here and duplicate row 72 72 and can let change the category id so let's see what categories we have 10 and 11 so let's use 10 for the first one okay now let's return we should get all the listed so we are getting the first uh, record id 71 Okay, we saw it already. Now, ID 72, we have uh, two tags. So we're getting two tags here. But we have two category now. So we are getting two category as well. So that's really, really simple way to uh, retrieve all the data. And in my next video, I will show you how you can install a package and see all this information, uh, how the query is being running because uh, it's being run so that uh, you can debug your code much better with this package that we use in our production, or sorry, in, in our... Um, a development mode always it's really helps also please guys um, uh, stick with the tutorial because I'm going to be uh, finish this uh, series real quick and then in my next immediate uh, uh, tutorial series will be on uh, Laravel and socket and definitely um, those tutorial will, will, uh, is going to be really funny and interesting as well and all of my code hopefully will be production ready so that you can use in real uh, real life scenarios okay Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead, subscribe my channel and like this video. And of course, uh, let me know your valuable feedback. And if you have problems, go ahead in our Facebook group, share your uh, questions. And there are lots of amazing people who will be helping you. Uh, helping you. Thank you guys. Have a nice time. Goodbye.